a fine artist would take inspiration from nature, abstract it, and try to create some sort of abstract art form. And camo is kind of like that, in that you're abstracting nature and abstracting forms and textures, but you're doing it not just based on your feelings and emotions, you're doing it based on a technical need. We've laid out what we wanted to solve for, what we wanted to do better, what camos weren't doing in the market, and how could we do it, and how could we do it better. It's bringing these problems to a very, very talented designer in Noel to really interpret what we were telling him. Trying to disguise someone in a tree is, is different than disguising someone in, in a in a marsh environment. And coming up with those solutions. And then after we were super happy with how the pattern looked on screen, we need to turn it into something that's on fabric. <laughs> Just like we start any design process, we get it in different environments. We take it to a marsh first and, and we see how that looks. And then we take it to ag fields. And we realize that we need to tweak colors, shades, hues, tones. So what we're gonna do is hopefully take this base color, which is pretty light right now, and just darken that up. But we also had to see how it looks in September versus how it looks in December. How the camo looks in morning light, in an evening light. It's funny how much time we spend on something, how you can obsess over something. It was really all on us, and specifically the guys in our office and organization to get the gear in the field, figure out what was wrong with it, what we needed to tweak, what we needed to fine tune, and then finally get it to where it is today, which is what we believe truly to be the best waterfowl collection ever to come to market. Shoot them, boy, shoot them. Oh, baby! Woo! That is what I'm talking about!